As you know, over the last month, there were reports of floating spy balloons and strange triangles in the sky. Even the White House said they didn't see any evidence of alien civilizations sending stuff hundreds of light years to Earth. But the fact they raised the question was interesting. Which raises the other question, not by any means for the first time. Anyone else out there? It's a question that legitimate scientists have been asking for a long time, many of them right here in the Bay Area. So let's ask one. Head to the South Bay, Mountain View to be exact, and there you'll find SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, and the SETI guy, Seth Shostak, radio astronomer, podcast host, who will often say about discovering ET, well, who knows? Except when it comes to floating triangles and Chinese balloons. Not for a moment did I think that these are aliens somehow visiting Earth. It's the zeitgeist of the era that, you know, there's something you don't understand. It's up in the sky. It must be aliens. On the other hand. Listen, I'll bet you all a cup of coffee that we'll find E.T. by 2035. And I stand by that today. Well, that leads to some questions like how many E.T.'s might there be? Well, the Milky Way galaxy has several hundred billion star systems. I mean, if I bought a couple of hundred billion lotto tickets, I'd have a few winners in there, right? So, yeah, I think that they must be out there. Otherwise, what's the point of doing this experiment? This experiment is SETI's decades-long search to detect some sort of signal from an alien civilization. We have yet to find any evidence of aliens in our galaxy or any other galaxy. And in fact, we haven't even found evidence of life anywhere else than Earth so far. But how many other planets are there? for E.T. to live on. Today we know that almost every star has planets. Planets are like cheap motels in California. They're all over the place. Would alien spaceships look anything like saucers? You know, in space, there's no air. So you don't have to streamline anything. I mean, this thing could look like something randomly assembled by a tornado in a junkyard. Is it possible we've been visited by extraterrestrials in the past? It's really hard to say. I mean, who's to say that they didn't, you know, visit Earth a hundred million years ago and took a few photos of the dinosaurs? I mean, how would you know? The dinosaurs kept very poor diaries. So, so we really don't know. At the end of it all, we have been listening for E.T. since 1960. Nothing yet, but look, you know, uh, three weeks out of Spain, Columbus didn't have much to show for his voyage either. Four weeks out of Spain, however, he suddenly hit something. This experiment's gonna be no, 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 until one day it will be yes. If it's not true, if humans really are the smartest things in the Milky Way galaxy, then we're some sort of miracle. And it's hard to believe that we're a miracle. So what a fascinating story. So he said that he hasn't heard a signal from the aliens, but was there any other signs? Well, you know, once, I think at Ohio State University, they got something famously, they received a radio signal famously known now as the wow signal. Okay. Where they looked at it and it really looked from a star system and it really looked like an intelligent signal. Um, mm. But in order to verify this, it has to happen not just once. Okay. But time, it has to be repeated. Huh. And they listened and listened and listened to this star system. They never heard anything else. Okay. So it's intriguing, but it's, it's not far away from being conclusive proof. But we continue to listen, and who knows? One of these days. One of these yeah, days. 2035, I think he said. He said 2035. He bought a cup of coffee, Ooh. so there's big stakes. <laughs>